Dutta Trap Hybrosis will lead them to the green flag here at Dubai. The third till the third last round of the season is underway. As Dutta hard into the corner. Got a good jump and a good start. Zach Rogers also with a good start. Tries to climb up into the second place spot. Dutta pushes his way down the straightaway here. Right under the Haas sign against the Maya sign. And Dutt already pulling a gap as Zach Rogers and Fibrosis Fri is bowing pretty hard right now. Three wide. Dylan Young, Louvier, and one of the, that's probably Vladimir Petrov in the middle. Three wide. That doesn't exactly work too often at this track, but they got it working there and it cleared up. It cleared up quite well. But we're three wide again in the back as we are set to complete the first lap here. Louvier, said Cole, going on each other right here. Everyone's gonna be stuck together for a bit. But look at this. Now we're going. Gonna, we're gonna go three wide. Three wide into the corner. What a move by Dylan Young, and passes about three cars in one corner. Oh, we got trouble. Michael Block turns Vincent Allen. That's typical. And oh, Nick Mace plowing into the back of them. Two of the Stuttgart nine motors cars getting involved. And. Block, Mason, Vincent out all involved. That didn't take long, and Michael Block once again <laughs> wrecking someone in Dubai. It's become a regular thing now. Fibros is catching up to the 55. He got rid of Zach Rogers, bumped him down to fourth. And here comes the 9 BMW trying to get a run on the 55 BMW. Dutta could still get in. Dutta's still trying to fight for a spot in the championship, and Fibrosis is doing the same as well, so they are both looking for a good finish here. Let's see if they can get their way into the championship somehow. And you got John Sedino back there in third. Already starting off with a pretty impressive run. Sean Angel has clinched Rookie of the Year this weekend. As he is now battling with Zach Rogers for fourth. Angel was actually looking pretty spiffy on this track during practice and qualifying. Definitely a pretty good car they brought for him here seems like Angel does quite well on the more flat tracks in terms of road course racing but overall he's had a pretty decent season for a rookie probably could have done a little bit better but he did have a lot of he did have some bad luck during this half of the season as he clears for fourth and this wow and the top four all stuck all the top we still have a we pretty much have a six car battle for the league going on right now Fibrosis slices and dices, and he's gonna. Wow, okay. Sedino slices and dices, and he's now gonna try to go by Charlie Fibrosis here. Fibrosis very aggressively defending the position. Oh boy, and Anthony's getting quite familiar with Mr. Rogers back there. And he's charging through. That 10 car is looking pretty spiffy today as well, as he's trying to get by two cars. And Sid, you know, definitely got a good card today as well. At least that's what we've seen so far. But this field's still pretty competitive. Dutta has not been able to pull away. And this has been quite a fun battle to watch. Here comes Hyperolsis now looking for the inside on Dutta. It's hard to turn away from this six car pack here. They're sticking, sticking together. But they are giving a, an interesting show here. This is... Some of the best racing we've seen in Dubai in a while. Dubai has always given us a great show, but it has definitely been pretty pretty fun already. It didn't take long. But now Dud is starting to pull away, but Fibrosis wants to go with him. Here comes Jacob Antsy in the 10. He got by Citadino quick, and now he's going to try and get by his teammate of Fibrosis and going to go for Dud at the same time, it looks like. Antony drives it hard into Dud, but Dud. Sides the, uh, he drives it cleanly, blocks cleanly. Jacob Anthony's on fire right now. He is on the move. He has passed several cars these last few laps, and he is coming after the Brazilian. If he can make a charge at him, that 10 car's got a lot of grip. It's pulling into that 
it pulls to the corner much better, and it, actually, and it looks like it just got brand new tires. But here comes Anthony trying to go for the first lead change of the race here. I don't think Dutta can stop him now. Fibrosis went easy on him. Anthony did not, and Anthony's going to give him the fight. And yep, Anthony clears the 55. New leader, Jacob Anthony. Three car battle for 18th, Matt Duncan. And then Dylan Young and Eric Stewart Fox all fighting here. I mean, Seth Cole, my bad. They're all trying to get in 18th place here. But Seth Cole definitely looking like the faster car as he swoops easily by Matt Duncan. And Eric Stewart Fox in the Racing for Deutschland car trying to get by Matt Duncan as well. Lots of battling going on in every end of the racetrack, so very good race so far. Cittadino and Sean Angel putting on a show here. As Angel trying to sweep his way by the 36, Cittadino's going to fight him for it. Here comes Cittadino looking for the crossover. Swooped in behind, now he's going to go for the quarter panel. Will he spin him? No, Cittadino remains clean, but he's going to fight that 70 car like it's no tomorrow. He doesn't have a lot of time left in the season to win, and he doesn't want to lose time, but Sean Angel with the huge run on the outside line, he gets by for four. And now Rogers trying to make a run at Cittadino. We got a fight for ninth, and it's between Alex Allen and Duncan as Allen gives Duncan the bump. Looks like he might have gone for a bump and run maneuver, but Duncan stayed his, held his ground. But that 08 is giving a fight, that's for sure. This is for 10, I believe. And they are... <laughs> Everyone's putting on a show for Dubai tonight. Well, two days, so... <laughs> quite a, quite fun to watch. Jordan Smith in the 80 is reporting problems. They're saying that they might have... They, they might have some kind of tire going down already because they're all the way down into, into 35th. And they haven't been able to move forward. They're thinking it might have been some kind of faulty tire or maybe some kind of issue inside the car they're not aware about. But they're going to have to bring that car in the pit soon. As here comes Chris Washer down to the inside. Something is definitely wrong with that 80 car. Bow for third here. Angel making a move on Fibrosis. As he drives hard into the corner. Fibrosis remains respectful. Angel's on a Angel's on fire right now. He he wants to go for it. He knows he doesn't have much time left in the season to get his first trying to get a win his rookie season and as hey, Fibrosis gets into him. This is just non-stop battle. Anthony is checked out, but this fight for second is never ending. Dud is still holding strong. Cidino's still there. This is absolutely unbelievable racing. Fitzwater, then you got William Duncan, Alex Allen back there. They're making headway towards these guys. So it's an endless fight at the moment. Anthony's probably feeling very comfortable seeing everyone fight behind him, but right now I don't think these guys want to be such in a hardcore battle. Fitzwater, Alex Allen giving William Duncan hell as they give him a bump together. And Fitzwater, another bump to the sixth car. And I don't think Dunn's going to be happy. Yep, now he's blocking Fitzwater. And here comes the Volkswagen down to the inside. Alex Allen going for, going for the spot. I don't think Fitzwater is quite happy at the moment. The Australian has not been a very happy driver this season. He's been getting to a lot of drivers' heads this year. Points leader Alan Cabanero is starting to fall back a little bit. He was up to 7th at one point, but now the car seems to be dropping off a little as it's now down to 13th place. His pit stops are about to begin in a moment. So Cabanero, they're going to have to do some work on this pit stop if they want to preserve that points lead. And with DJ Curtis, as he comes down to pit road, and with DJ Curtis a good bit in front of him, he can't he can't really afford at this point to lose any ground. Jacob Anthony first off pit road. Dutto will follow second. Vibrosis now Cittadino. Rogers with a terrible pit stop. He loses several positions. So does Cavanero as whoa. 
Duncan looks like he lost a couple positions. There's the race off pit road. We're three wide on pit road. That's such a great idea. Not. Yeah, this could be bad. <laughs> Jacob Anthony still leads. He actually lost some ground on pit road, but he still has a pretty commanding lead at the moment in this 10 car. Anthony, I don't think, is very happy about finishing second after dominating Atlanta last two weeks ago. So right now, I think Anthony's pretty much driving the heck out of his car, and I don't think he wants to lose. I don't think he plans on losing the lead anytime soon. Anthony's quite a fighter, but there's still quite a ways to go here. Fibrosis with a little bit of contact to Dutta as he gets underneath them using the quarter panel and. Dutta, who has been second for most of this race so far, and he's going to give it up to Fibrosis. No reason to be so aggressive, I guess, especially at this, especially since we're just barely under halfway. But Fibrosis goes into second, as now he's going to have to try and run down his teammate. Charles Sanford and Nathan McCain, they are well on one for 20th, the final points in position. Nathan McCain has really dropped off since the start. McCain started in the 7th place spot, but has fallen all the way down outside the top 20. Trying to make a comeback here, if he can. But the Team Thunder car was, it's definitely not the same as it was in practice. And McCain's going to give quite a challenge to Sanfer, but he's also got Cody Lamas there to back him up. Zach Rogers was definitely the biggest loser on this, on the uh, pits on the on pit road. He's fallen, he fell from all the way from about 5th into outside the top 15. Well, actually not inside the top 15, just barely inside the top 15. But Rogers trying to make a comeback, trying to get by his former teammate, Sean Galligan. And yeah, I don't think Rogers is going to play nice with his former team owner. But Anthony's still holding fast there, trying to go for it. Galligan comes down, puts the block, respectful block to him. But Rogers is a fighter. He's not gonna. <laughs> he's not gonna take it easy on you. He's clean, but he does what he needs to do. Is once again trying to get Galligan, who has been a, a victim of some bad incidents at this track before. He's He's actually one of the few cars that's actually flipped here. DJ Curse now getting touchy with Ian Dutta. Dutta's just fallen. He's fallen really back. As look at. Curtis on the outside line looking for the pass. DJ's on a mission right now. He wants to win this race as they. As he's, he's fighting hard to get up there now. Fibrosis has caught Anthony and they, he did that quick. It's only been a few laps since Pit Road and it, Fibrosis made huge ground, Anthony. He's going to pass for the lead. Fibros is out of nowhere. Citadino and Sean Angel now. Oh my goodness me. Fibros is now trying to clear Anthony. But I can't believe how caught, how quick they caught Anthony. He had a three second lead. I wonder if Anthony must have made him maybe slid wide or something or made some kind of mistake. But now Fibros is easily passes by for the lead. And we have yet another lead change. And here comes Sean Angel. He wants a piece of Anthony himself. But this is quite the change. Another lead, another lead change. As Angel now, he swoops right on by. DJ Curtis, Dutta back there as well. We saw them battling a lap ago. But Anthony is falling quick. He's about to fall to Citadino. And now Sean Angel gonna give Fibrosis a piece of his mind. Ooh, Angel into the nine, almost turns him. That would have been bad if he just wrecked Fibrosis straight up right there. Angel goes to the outside. Fibrosis comes up to block his line. Angel crosses down underneath, goes to the lead here against Fibrosis. The nine stays strong, but Angel on the outside line. Sean Angel's on a mission today, folks. He is going to give everything he's got. The, cannon, the Canadian power is in him right now. As DJ Curtis is now about to pass Anthony, his own teammate. 
but the battle for the lead presses on side by side. Citadino gonna have to look for something. Three CBMs take up the top five. They are really pushing everything they've got for this race. And Angel completes the pass. He takes over the lead from Fibrosis. Duncan making some headway. He's up to sixth in the number six car. This is Duncan's best run of the season so far. And he is pushing. He is pushing really hard, that Team Thunder car. Duncan's running out of time to get a win this season himself. And he's going to do everything he can to Subaru. And he's having a fantastic run today. He always usually does well at this track. With DJ Curse up inside the top five, Kevin Arrow, he's all the way down, just barely inside the top 20. If Curtis, if, I mean, if he keeps this up, Kevin Arrow's gonna lose a huge dent in his points. Curtis can actually still take the point. Curtis could actually take the points from Kevin Arrow straight up here. But that would require DJ to win. Not sure if he can do that, but Kevin Arrow's not in a good position either way. Here comes DJ looking for the pass on Fibrosis for second. Oh boy. DJ's car has gone really good since the last pit stop. He was up to about eighth place before the pit stops. Now he's fighting up for a second place spot. Oh boy, DJ around the inside. Fibrosis gives his teammate plenty of room. Vibrosis knows DJ can make huge stand in, can make a huge stand in the points here, so he's being respectful for his for his teammate. However, Vibrosis is a fighter, and he's not gonna just he he'll win if he wants, but he's gonna do it as the cleanest way possible. And I don't think Curtis and Angel are willing to do that right now. Alex Allen up inside nine, trying to give the champion, trying to not lose this championship. Alex Allen was. He fell out of the top five in points last week, but he is giving an effort here. He wants to still remain in the championship hunt, and he's going to do so if he keeps this top ten run up. This car has been so this car has been pretty decent tonight, and he's going to give everything he's got. But you got a Red Bull behind and Seth Cole behind as well. They're going to do everything they can to get up there. I think that might be Baskinger. Never mind what I said it earlier, this is Skavnicki, not Baskinger. And he is looking for a ninth place position. Oh man, I tell you what, Skavnicki's gonna do everything he can here as he passes by into ninth. Couple of weeks a uh, couple of weeks ago, Skavnicki was uh almost almost could have won a race, and uh, now he's trying I forgot what the track is. I am Wow, brain fart. <laughs> but Skavnicki was on the move on a, a few weeks ago, and unfortunately, because of a, a tire issue, he lost ground and uh, pretty much lost his chance at a really good top 10 finish. However, he's really rebounded this race because now he's inside the top 10. Now he's going to try and look for eighth against Ian Dunna. Oh boy, oh, Trouble Lamas not happy here. Nathan McCain turns the 52 into the wall. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. And McCain was in 20 seconds, and that's pretty much going to take him out of the race. But that's, oh, ho, 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 ho. Louvier almost just wrecked it to his own teammate. I don't know why McCain merged into the track like that. Gotta let the guys go by. So the battle for the lead at the moment is we are coming to... The final pit stops of the day is between Angel and DJ Curtis. Both men have pulled away. DJ Curtis is going to veer onto pit road. He's going to bite first. Angel's going to stay on an extra lap here. Sean Angel finishes his pit stop. Where's he going to end up? There's DJ Curtis. Angel, that was not a good pit stop. And DJ Curtis rounds around. He takes the lead. DJ Curtis takes the lead on a pit stop. That could not have happened at a better time. And now DJ Curtis didn't even have to use the bumper. All he had, all he needed was a good pit stop. And now we've got an, another lead change. Stephen Paul III has been making a huge charge since the start. He's in sights. He's up to seventh now. And he's brought Skavnicki with him. So Pollard with an absolutely fantastic run today. 
in this number 81 Audi. He signed with Texan Audi for next season already, and he is showing why, and he's been so strong today, and he's got one of the better cars on the track. He just needed better track position and, well, more time. Nico Hall trying to defend the final points paying position from Nick Pericles. Pericles being very aggressive here. He's been trying to get by the so 7 for the last few laps, and he is doing everything he can. But Hall's a blocker. He's going to block whatever. He's going to do whatever he can. Pericles makes the bumper. I take uses the bumper and now slides underneath. And Pericles, with a uh, hit full goodbye, is going to blow right by the Polish driver. Meanwhile, it's round two between Jordan Davis and Cavanero. We saw these two have quite the fight at Clawhammer. And Davis dives into the 83. Cavanero doesn't retaliate. I don't think he... Well, oh, no, Cavanero got that run off the corner. Now he's going to bite right back at the 8. Here comes Cavanero. Galligan there. Lamas there as well. This is for 15. Davis is being very much of a pain for Cavanero. And I don't think Cavanero is enjoying losing so many positions like this. With Curtis in the lead, it definitely could seem like Cavanero could lose the points lead today. And I think he knows that, but here comes Galligan. Jack, Zach Rogers and Skavnicki now battling hard. This is for a spot inside the top 10. Here comes Dutta, here comes Anthony. Anthony and Dutta, both cars who have, that have fallen off since the start of this race, since the uh, second pit stops. Actually, since the first pit stops, my bad. But Rogers now, he's trying to regain positions. Ooh, 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 this is getting really tight. Anthony slides wide. But now he's trying to get back going. It's here comes Skamnicki for the rebound on Zach Rogers. Skavnicki dies into the corner. Anthony does the same to the Brazilian. And oh goodness me. It's a hard battle on every end of the racetrack. There's not a lot of time left. Only a couple laps to go. Everyone fighting for as many positions as they can possibly get. William Duncan trying to use Nathan McCain as a pick. And shove Pollard into the 52. Pollard knows better and he goes way below. Team Thunder trying to use their own team tricks to get by. Duncan actually lost ground in that affair. I don't think McCain was intentionally doing that, but... Definitely seems like an interesting move by Duncan. <laughs> Curtis, he's... Angel is catching him, but Curtis is still so strong. And then you've got Fibrosis and Citadino still up there. Who have... All four of these guys have driven absolutely amazing races today. Michael Block off pit road. Hopefully he doesn't become a factor. Although he slides in between Angel and DJ Curtis. I don't think that was very bright. He should have just let Angel go. Here comes Angel though anyways. Block goes to the high side. Although Angel's still having trouble getting by the damage 29. Block's got damage, but remember he's got the freshest tires. You don't necessarily have to be fast on this track. You just gotta have good tires. Cavanero now battling his own son for 18th. Michael Cavanero, what a comeback by that dude. Was He's been outside the points this entire race and now he's battling his dad for 18th. And now we got Pericles up there. This is all for 18th here. And Michael goes by his dad. I don't know if Alan's either proud or really upset that, that his son passed him like that. Mainly because he he's fallen down points in two. His own son's pretty much messing him up in the points here. So it's interesting. And McCain now trying to get out of people's ways. He tries to fall to the back. He's either proud of his son for passing passing him and beating him or just upset that he passed him, especially in this kind of a point situation. 
But here comes Pericles now. This is for 19th, because now Michael's by. And yeah, Kenner is about to fall to 20th, isn't he? When you're about to be passed by Nick Pericles, that's when you've reached a new low on how bad your car is. And Pericles makes the pass on the points leader. Michael Block is actually faster than both these two, but this is messing up DJ Curtis, because here comes Angel. I understand Block doesn't want to finish more than one lap down, but he could be a bit more respectful and a little bit less of pain, because now he's about to wreck DJ Curtis, gets into it, gives him the bump and run! You gotta be kidding me. Well, that's Michael Block being Michael Block for you. But here comes Angel on the inside. Curtis forced to the high side. Angel gonna look in. Oh, but DJ's not giving up. He drove that car hard into that corner. Didn't even slow down. But Angel needs to get to the inside line. He does, and now he's up to the quarter panel. On board with Sean Angel. He can taste victory right in, his, right in front of him. He's just got to get by DJ Curtis with only a few laps to go. That's 70 cars faster than the 19. But DJ will fight as hard as he can. He knows what opportunity this is going to bring towards him. But Angel actually looks like he lost some speed there. But he is fighting to get to that 19. Nick Pericles has gone ahead of steam. He's going to pass by Galligan. Pericles has actually gone really fast since the last pit stop. That 45's on the move. Very fast car. It's actually one of the fastest cars on the racetrack at the moment. He goes by Galligan with ease. It's been a good day for Hoppa More Sports overall. They've got all their cars inside the top 20. Same for CBM. Fitzwater, Cittadino trying to get to the leaders, but they're out of, I don't think they can make it there in time. They need another couple of laps. There's not a, they don't have a couple of laps now. Fitzwater is the fastest car on the racetrack, and he is trying so hard to get up there. But he needs time, and he doesn't have that right now. To the white flag, DJ Curtis trying to hang on. Sean Angel has lost ground, but Angel's fighting, gonna have to fight as hard as he can. Block is out of the picture now. Fibrels is up there in third. Fitzwater right there up in fourth, but he doesn't have the speed to get up. He doesn't have the time to get up there. It's only one more lap, but DJ's trying to fight as hard as he can. Angel's gonna push everything he's got in that 70 car. Angel smooth through the corners. So does so is DJ. Fibrosa is losing ground to both of them. It's a fight from here. Angel trying to get up there. He's getting closer, 10th by 10th. Angel needs to make a move. He might have to use the bumper if he can get up to the 19. Angel pushing hard through the corner. He actually got a good run off that corner, into the final corner. Angel's gonna have to drive it in hard. He does, he drives it really hard into the corner, almost just wrecked DJ Curtis right there. Off the final corner, DJ Curtis will hold on and wins the round of Dubai. And Angel almost caught him. Oh my goodness me. Angel drove it hard into that corner and almost got to him. But Curtis remained strong, kept the car in balance, and pulls off a win. And we are hearing has now officially taken the points lead. And the CBM pit crews are celebrating hard because they've got two cars on the podium now. <laughs>